Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. So I received a package in the mail, which is Subaki Chain, and it's uh, the TS-826PA, which is similar to this, just different dimensions. And I believe it's about 10 feet. This chain uses a one and a half inch pitch. And, um, it is a PA 80 links total. Let me go ahead and uh, take this out of the box. Be right back. All right, guys. So basically this is what it looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and put the, this is the TS-826. And the one on my tractor is a TS-950, which is this one. So basically I'm about, well, about a half inch uh, difference. The problem is when I bought this chain, I bought eight feet. And this one right here is 10 feet, which uh, it should be enough to make both tracks. And if not, I can just go ahead and add two, three links of my TS-950 on there, plasma cut it, and it should look the same. So, now I can start working on my dozer again. This chain right here retails for about 100 and, 106 to 160, depending if it's nickel plated or all stainless steel, and that's per foot. So basically, there's a, over a thousand dollars worth of tracks. And I paid about a hundred, about a hundred dollars was tax off eBay. So, you know, you can get a good bargain and, you know, you can save time by building, you know, getting a track like this already assembled versus buying a chain and welding all day. And maybe the next day, you know, the slabs on there. But anyways, um, that's what I got in the mail and I'll be working on this, you know, pretty soon. So. See y'all later guys and y'all have fun. Thank you for watching.